We've got the integral of sine of x cubed over cosine of x. And so we're going to solve this by using a trigonometric identity. So first we're going to split the numerator into two terms, sine squared x times sine of x. And then we could say using the trigonometric identity that sine x squared plus cosine x squared equals 1. So the top becomes, we've got 1 over cosine of x times 1 minus cosine x squared times sine of x. Alright, so now what we're going to do is let's just say u equals cosine of x. So du equals negative sine of x dx. Now so you see we have sine of x dx at the end here, so if we add a negative to the front, this ends up just being u terms and then du. So we've got integral of negative integral of 1 minus u squared all over u times du, which is negative integral, 1 over u du plus minus minus makes a plus, integral of u squared over u is just u du. So over here we got negative ln u plus u squared over 2 plus c. And of course we know negative ln is just 1 over ln, or ln of 1 over. So we've got with when we plug in cosine of x back in for u, we have ln of 1 over cosine of x, which plus cosine squared x over 2 plus c. And we know 1 over cosine of x is just secant of x, so we've got ln of secant x plus cosine x squared over 2 plus c.